when you're leaving team or when you're leaving that organization you don't want the next guy who is right or next guy or next girl i don't want feminism problems hey everyone my name is rachit jain and welcome to yet another video today i want to talk about those of you who are in probably college and have done a lot of computer programming and they are probably thinking whether they should do development and also we have some people who are software engineers now they are well settled but they want to go into big four and they didn't have that computer programming experience in their college and that is why they are having so many questions and they are really worried about interviews so these are the kind of questions uh, or the mindset of the people that i really want to touch today and let's just get started with it okay so i have written few points i'm not sure if you can see this but yeah i have some points with me and the benefits of both sides like computer programming what are the good things about it and what are the good things about software development when i'm talking about computer programming things a lot of people who come from the category of software engineers won't be able to relate to that and when i am talking about software engineer things a lot of people who are just into computer programming won't be able to relate to that so keep patience and try to absorb as much as i am saying because i have spent enough time as a computer programmer as well as a software developer all right so keep patience if some things are not making sense to you but just try to catch on that and just stick and pay attention okay what are the good things about computer programming and the best thing that i can tell you is it makes your life easy because coding interviews are really very easy for you to crack this is true if you are good at computer programming coding interviews would be easy for you to crack and this is will establish truth and the reason why this is the best benefit i'm saying and of course it's a sport and i don't want to demean the spirit of a sport computer programming is a very good sport if you enjoy it in that sense perfect for you but the biggest benefit for me is coding interviews and the reason for that is interviewing can be very stressful guys and especially if you are well settled in your career and if you want to make a move you already have a lot of baggage with you you have a lot of responsibilities with you and in that time interviewing is even more stressful like getting those rejections ah uh, if you are really not good at computer programming you might be rejected even when you are a good software developer and there are so many viral videos as well as blogs written on medium there are so many discussions going on reddit about how interviews are broken but the truth is guys you really need to be good at data structures and algorithms to really crack the big four companies because they can afford to to practice whatever hiring guidelines they want to practice and for today as of now it's 2nd july 2020 i'm recording this in the night the time is 12:30 am as of now i can tell you that to really be into these companies the easiest way for you to is actually be good at data structures and algorithms so this is the best benefit that computer programming is offering you again i don't want to go into that direction is that the only way i'm saying that this is the biggest benefit for me and for most of you that computer programming is giving the other is i enjoy it i am i love problem solving and doing computer programming makes you a good problem solver so that's the next point that i would like to cover and the good thing about being a good problem solver is that you can take challenging projects and you can actually categorize problems into smaller buckets and try to make a big project work just because you have the ability to do that of course you can develop this doing software development and people who really are good software engineers they eventually develop this but the overall point is for people who are really good at computer programming who for whom problem solving comes naturally they are actually good at handling such things because they are able to compile down things they are able to break down things into smaller units visualize each of them separately and try to approach them Th so this is one quality which i really like and which computer programming gives me moving on so when you are a good computer programmer it really makes you write correct code i am not going into cleaner code but you do write correct code which makes you write code faster because you are saving time you are writing code correctly in a short amount of time so you are not making uh more bugs and even if you do make bugs it's very natural for you to pick up the place where it went wrong i i would say your debugging skills improve as a computer programmer so that's another benefit that it offers having said that i would say that people who are good computer programmers they have a very good potential to become excellent software developers but here is the twist people who love computer programming 
generally dislike software development and the reason for that is because you haven't done the other side you haven't seen the other world it might feel you that it's all about stack overflow trust me it's not and that's why now i want to talk about software development so talking about software development the biggest benefit i would say is it gives you the ability to write clean and maintainable code all right it's very important this is one of the most important skill a software developer should have when you're writing code it should be very easy to read it should be very easy to maintain it should be very easy to extend because if a team is having such kind of code base it's easy for the managers as well to handle when people are moving from organization x to organization y or from team x to team y which happens a lot in the world of software development so what you want is when you're writing code and when you're leaving when you're leaving team or when you're leaving that organization you don't want the next guy who is right or next guy or next girl i don't want feminism problems so i don't want the next guy or next girl who is coming or who is replacing me i i don't want their hate i want their life also to be easy so that's one really important thing because it really saves a lot of time if people can onboard to your code base very easily so that's very important skill and it comes with time it comes with patience and in fact there are so many cases or so many situations that software engineers face regularly and to solve them cleanly or neatly we have a concept of design patterns now there's a very good book gang of four it's very famous and that book really talks uh, beautifully about the design patterns and it's nothing but some patterns that you can follow like some class structures or the way functions should be written so some guidelines about solving particular problems that people regularly encounter when they are writing code so that's the whole agenda of design patterns and it's beautiful when you come from the computer programming background to software development it's magnificent and this is the thing which you don't know yet and that is why you might feel that if you are really in love with computer programming you might feel that software development is not that good so yeah this is one of the biggest thing and biggest quality a software developer should have in him or her all right the other good things about software engineering is that it makes you a good person in the sense that it in, it improves you in multiple areas of your life your communication skills improve because you have to communicate with your team members of course you also have to communicate with your managers a lot of other things which are missing in competitive programming because you are just sitting on your desk you are writing code for you you are increasing your rating you are learning segment trees you are learning graphs you are learning bfs traversals it's just you all right but in software development that's not the case you are working with a team you have a manager there are so many different aspects which go missing if you are just talking about computer programming so this is one thing which i really like if you are into software development eventually you will improve improve in multiple areas of your life communication being also one of that other than that a lot of software teams now follow agile methodology what is that now ha huh. it's nothing but a way or a framework a solution i'm just saying synonyms over here so it's a way or a guideline or an ideology to make bigger projects possible and deliver them correctly on deadline all right so this is my own definition of agile scrum methodology and uh, more or less what i mean to say is that i do apply the same ideology in my personal life as well it gets overwhelming after some point of time that you have to do so many things and your dreams are only dreams you really want to make progress in your life about other aspects like i want to run a youtube channel i also want to make a course of my own i also want to make good videos i also want to connect with you guys so that i can clear your doubts one on one i have a lot of dreams to do but how can i do that and that's where agile is also helping me in my life not very correctly but i get the sense of how agile helps software teams to deliver projects and i try to implement or apply that in my own life so what i mean to say is that when you are into software development you get ideas or you extract ideas and uh, try to apply them in your life as well to solve some problem in your life all right and this is something which i really like because with this quality it's very easy for me or it has empowered me to make bigger things which just look impossible it helps me make my dreams into a reality all right i would put it that way also software development has a lot to do it has a lot of different types of roles that you can have you can probably choose to become a full stack developer like i am if not that if you are really into back end you would probably try to develop very strong roots 
into let's say backend all right you can you can be a very professional and expert in django for example or in node.js so there are different curves in software development which depends on your interest but it has a lot to offer so many knowledge that you can absorb you can know the right tools to use to solve a different problem and it all comes with experience so it's very magnificent to to just know what are the right tools to use in right situations for example when to use redis or when you should use mongodb right when you should use elastic search whether you should use grafana or you should use kibana right so there are so many different products and open source is again magnificent you have so many tools and products which are built for free to use the other good thing about software development is that it is finally about creating an impact in other people's life like talk about uber or swiggy they are solving some problems right it, they are making food deliveries easy like they are making cabs available for you so easily they are having an impact in people's life which i don't think computer programming is giving you just able to write segment trees is not going to bring smile to people's faces or it's not going to really solve some problem for them i mean of course you can use some of the knowledge to write optimized algorithms and it can have in some way an impact and such skill set is also of course necessary but more or less what i want to say is that software development is the core and only through that you are actually making impact in people's life even if you are writing optimized algorithms they need software development to translate that or to transfer that just from code into people's phones or apps and only then it can make a difference in people's life so yes software development is very important and of course it's giving you money like when you are working as a software developer you are of course earning from your like regular salary but you can also do freelancing which is another good thing like just doing computer programming won't open doors for you in terms of monetary benefits not that much of course you can go into problem setting or you can host contests or you can win contests to earn money but you get the idea you can be a freelancer if you are a really good software developer and you can start running side business or you can start earning money from there as well so to summarize i would say that if you have the time please do competitive programming please do data structures and algorithms because once you are into software world it's very difficult to start with data structures and algorithms so if you have the time right now please invest in it going wise versa is very difficult if you are already working as a software developer you are already getting a salary things are not that bad but to invest your time in data structures and algorithms might be tough because you are not directly getting something back right because whatever you are learning might not be directly applicable in your daily life but interviewing is very stressful and it will help you over there so both of you guys like people should migrate from here to there and there to here so guys if you want to support this channel and you plan to use these interview products make sure to use the coupon rachit for a discount you can check the video description for further links so i hope this video summarized about both aspects covered the positives of both aspects and how people in both areas can make progress if you have any more questions drop them in comments and i'll see you in the next one till then bye bye happy coding and take care